Hey everybody, Mr. Fox here and welcome back to Play 1. Today I'm going to play Demonizer, yet another indie shoot them up available on Steam and also each.io. Another shoot them up, but you know what? I like them and uh, I'm always excited playing a new one. All right, I'm going to show you what it's like. Let's go to stage one and let's get started. All right, stage one now. So right now I am playing a uh, demon, I'm guessing. And I'm also using my main shot. And I'm collecting blue heart on the ground as well as red heart. So the blue hearts are refilling my demon meter on the left hand side of the screen. And the red hearts are demonizing enemies on the ground and basically they come and walk from me afterwards. How about that? So it's the upgrade system of the game. That's what it is. And when my uh, demon meter is high enough, my minion can do more than one thing. Like for instance, now they are able to collect blue hearts and red hearts on the ground for me. So I don't have to do it. So the focus shot focuses on only one enemy for more uh, effective and powerful um, damages, basically. Oh, and also before I forget, when you collect blue heart as well, you also refill your bomb meters. So I got three bombs at the moment, and when I use one, and then after that I collect blue heart again, the meter will fill up again. So I will be able to have another bomb. That's very cool. It's a very interesting system for the bombs. go boss number one done and stage one done as well uh, there's a bit of a storyline which only happens during boss fights uh, through dialogues so it's not overly intrusive you know with uh, cutscenes and stuff like that so it's uh, it's quite nice it's straight to the point it's basically uh basically what this game is all about. It's straight to the point, but it's not simplistic. It's a, it's a very good balance of things. So one interesting thing in this game is enemies can hide behind objects to cover themselves. So obviously they are not doing it uh, as part of an AI kind of things. It's how they are programmed to do it. But you can't hit them if they're hiding behind a building or behind a tree or something like that. So you will have to wait for them to get out of it. So as you can see, when I use my focus shot, the hitbox of oh god, the hitbox of your character is showing. Uh, my 
god. With the shape of a heart, I think. I think it is, yes. Pixelated hearts. That also brings me to um, the aesthetic of the game. And yes, it looks like a game made with RPG Maker. It really looks like a early 16-bit RPG. You know what? I really like it. I think it's very clever what they've done here. Uh, it, it looks like an RPG and plays like a very tight shoot -em up I think the mix here is brilliant. I really do like it. Well, that brings me also to the difficulty of the game. So make no mistake, this is a very difficult game. This is a very difficult shoot -em up um, The first stages are fairly easy to go through, but I will say after stage 4 or stage 5, it gets very, very difficult. And in a lot of ways, Demonizer reminds me of uh, some of the Psycheo games like uh, Dragon Blaze and also Gunbird with those very little pesky uh, bullets that always get you at the last minute or because they are too fast and you couldn't see it. Uh, in this case, it's uh, arrows, like those ones you can see on the screen right now, and they are very fast. And when you're going to play the game on and on, you're going to be sick of them after a while. And there's something very old school on the difficulty of this game too is when you lost the continue and you have to restart the level, you basically restart the level with nothing. That means no upgrade or anything. It's very, it's very gracious. It's also very Dragon Blaze or any Psyche or games where you start with nothing. And that makes the level you are going through very tedious and very difficult. So keep in mind, this is how the game is going to treat you. There's a lot of die and retry here, to a point where sometimes I believe that it's better to restart the game and try to, um, to do your best not to lose any life on the early level. So I have no upgrade at all here and this is going to take a while to kill that guy. He is usually a fairly simple uh, boss to beat but because I didn't pay attention uh, I'm paying the price of it. And uh, very poor for this video as well, I'm sorry about that. Bear in mind I'm playing in normal difficulty setting. There are three difficulty settings so far, normal, hard, and demonic. Okay, that's where things start getting out of end. See those arrows? They are going to be your worst enemies.
you have to pay attention very closely on the first level and keep it that way so you can reach uh, this level with all your upgrades available and that will be so much easier for you. Well, that's about what I'm going to show you on the game. Um, I don't want to spoil uh, the rest of it. That's my excuse. Uh, there's an inebriator uh, mode here, which I'm going to show you. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, it's like playing while you're drunk, and the game's going to explain to you what it is exactly. So, as you can see, the game gets very blurry. Your main shot is wine shots. All right. <laughs> And the focus shot is how to resist the drunk view. And your bomb are called the vomit bomb. So it's very, uh, it's very funny. So it's a very silly little mode. There's not much to it, but I think it's, uh, it's, it's clever. All right. So I'm using the wine shot. And as I do that, I am drunker and drunker. It's very fussy and very blurry. And if I use the, the focus one, I repress my drunkness. And I'm using my vomit bomb. <laughs> uh, whoa. Uh, and your character moves differently as well. It's very, very odd. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't even do that as well. All right. Well, I'm I'm going to leave it like that, really, and uh, it's that's all there is to it. After you defeat the the guy, that's it. The the level is over. I mean, the the old mode is over. It's a nice little addition to the game. Maybe they could do something more with it. That would be very interesting, I think. Uh, and as you can see, I haven't completed the game. I've only reached well, only. I think it's not too bad to be honest. And uh, I. I believe there are two more stages to go, unless there's an hidden stage that I don't know about. So here it is. It's a very difficult game in a very old school way. You have to be uh, aware of that. But if you like a good challenge, then this game is right there. It's right here for you uh, to go. So yeah, uh, I would recommend Demonize Up because it's a very good Shuzama. I like, uh, I like its look. I like the music, it's very cool, very retro, but also very nice. Very tight gameplay as well, I like that too. There's a lot of things to like with this game, but bear in mind, it is very difficult. All right, that's going to be me for now. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you like the content of the channel, consider subscribing, and I'll catch up with you another time with another game. Bye for now.